Welcome to the Mystic Access Podcast, where the magic is in learning. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the April 21st, 2020 episode of the Mystic Access Podcast. She's Kim. He's Chris. And I remembered the dates. Yay! We're trying to get better about that. We're improving. It's becoming a little more second nature to us now. We're getting the hang of it. So we have a few things to talk about in this podcast. One thing we don't have to talk about is a class, because the class has just passed. But there'll be another one, so stay tuned. We'll be doing one in May, so you have a chance to come hang out with us if you missed this one, and you can come hang out with us. We have no idea what it's going to be about because it just literally passed, but we will let you guys know in the next episode. Also, we want to thank all of you who took advantage of the birthday sale. That was just recent. That was a lot of fun, and we are really glad that you got some goodies of interest to you. So thanks so much. Very appreciated. Really appreciated those lovely birthday wishes. It was a very nice birthday. I had a beautiful birthday. The sun was out, and it was shining. It was a nice day. Easter was a rainy, stormy, crazy day. But my birthday, which was the day before Easter, was an awesome day. So thank you very much for all the birthday love. While we're thanking people... I wanted to thank a specific podcast listener, and we're not going to out him, but we want to thank him, and he knows exactly who he is. In the last episode, we talked about the Monkey Tap apps, and we had mentioned that the way to move to a next joke or motivation was to double tap. That did work, but in our podcast, of course, updates, what have you, it did not work work and the podcast listener said we can actually swipe with three fingers like we're turning pages in a book or turning pages on our ios device and that does work so you can swipe between your jokes your affirmations your facts what have you and you can do that as many times as you want and that will work so three fingers on the screen swipe to the left from right to left and that will move you from item to item and it will read those items to you so that's one thing we did want to thank and bring to your attention yeah those are such fun apps if you haven't looked at the link it is available to their website i put it in the show notes they have so many cool options some of which seem to be available only for specific platforms, iOS or Android. You kind of want to be aware of what's available for which platform, but they have such cool things. Again, you can download those for free, or if you want a really hugely customizable experience, you can pay. And there's monthly, yearly, and lifetime options to pay. So if you really like them, put down the 30 bucks. <laughs> Just go ahead and get yourself the lifetime because they are really cool. One thing that I wanted to talk about is a product that we have demonstrated on the podcast a long time ago, and that is a product called QRead, Q-R-E-A-D. And this product is a paid product. It is $30. It runs on Windows, so there's not a Mac equivalent, but this product will read pretty much anything that you throw at it. It'll read HTML files. It'll read PDFs. It won't let you fill out PDFs, but if you want to read PDFs, you can open it in QRead, and it will read them to you. One of the nice things that I particularly like about this program is when you close the program, it will remember your cursor position. So if you're 159 pages into a 400-page book or file, it doesn't matter. It will remember where you left off. So if I press the right arrow key and I'm going through a document character by character, it's going to leave me at that character. So it totally remembers the position. And again, it will read anything pretty much that it supports that you can throw at it. And one of the things that I learned about, and I knew it did it, but I recently had the need to check it out, and that is its Bookshare support. So for those that don't know, you have a Bookshare.org website, which has millions of accessible books. And you can join for, I believe, $75 for the first year and $50 for each additional year. 
And it is if a, you're a student, you can join for free. That's true. So it just depends on your status. True. So you can download your books. You can open them on a player such as the Victor Reader Stream or what have you. But that's not what we're interested in right now. We're interested in using QRead. So I'm going to open QRead. Windows M. Folder view. Q. QRead. 81 of 86. And I'm using the Zoe voice with JAWS. So I'm going to press Enter. Enter. Load, load, loaded, loaded Superman. Loaded six documents. Currently focused. Superman. QRead Superman. Panel. Panel. Edit read only. So it loaded those documents that I have opened. So it even loads the documents that you have previously opened if you did not close them. So if you didn't make a conscious effort to close these documents, it will open them and it will put you in the last item that you were reading. So if I hit the down arrow key. Blank. Superman. Blank. Larry Ty. Blank. Notice. Blank. This accessible media has been made available to people with bona fide disabilities that affect reading. This notice tells you about restrictions on the use of this accessible media, which... And I can continue on. So I'm going to hit the Alt key. Menu bar. Document. And I'm going to down arrow. Menu. Document menu. Open dot 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 control plus O. Import from Bookshare dot dot dot. So it says import Leaving from Bookshare. Leaving menus. Read only Bookshare. edit. Q read super could be a book. A period. Menu bar. Document. Menu. Import from Bookshare dot dot dot. And I'm receiving an incoming call. That's why it went away. So I'm going to press enter on import from Bookshare. And I've already added my username and password. If I did not. I would be prompted for my username and password. So let's press enter. Enter. Leaving menus. Panel. Panel. Edit read only. Zoom. Q read Superman. Import from Bookshare. Search tab selected. So I'm in the import from Bookshare tab and I can just start typing. But I'm going to press tab and we're going to see what we have. Search term edit. Search type combo box. Author and title. One of four. So there's your author and title. I can down arrow. Author. Two of four. Title. Three of four. Full text. Four of four. So that's kind of cool. Title. Author. Author and title. One of four. So I'm going to go Search back type up to author and title. Now I'm going to tab. Search term edit. And now we're back to search term. So let's search for some kind of book to read. Wait, I have a question first. Yes. It said search tab. So if you arrow, are there other tabs that you can use somehow? That's a good question. Let me look. Search tab selected. Browse tab selected. Oh, oh. looky there. Well, there you go. See, as I said, <laughs> I've only been playing with this for not very long. So, so we can search, we can browse. What happens if you tab from browse? Browse tab. Periodicals tab selected. Periodicals. Oh, looky. Looky, there you go. So let's go back to browse. Browse tab select. Since we just discovered it. And then we're going to tab and let's see what we have in the browse tab. Tree view. Popular. One of four. Down arrow. Latest. Bookshare categories closed. And I can right arrow. And Bookshare I can, categories open. I can down arrow. Level one. Animals. One of 51. Art and architecture. So that's very cool. So let's tab. View button. We can view. Tree view. Art and architecture. And now we're back to the tree view. So we're going to tab again. View button. Tree view, art and architecture, two of 51. So close the categories. I think there was another option under categories as well. Level Popular zero. Bookshare categories. categories opened. 51 items. Yeah, let's close that. Bookshare you're categories right. closed. Th by grade level closed. Yeah, there you go. There so you if go. you're looking for your kids or they're looking, they have options. View button. Tree view. By grade level closed. Four of four. Okay, I don't know how to get out of this to go back to the tabs. Maybe we hit view. View, view button. Shift tab? Tree view. Browse tab selected. Oh, there it is. Okay, you're right. So for whatever reason, tab wasn't working. So you have to shift tab in this situation to go back to the tabs. So let's... So are those the only tabs? Browse and search? Browse, search, and periodicals. So let's go to oh, the right... Oh, periodicals. That was yes. a tab. Okay. It was a tab. So we're going to tab. Awesome. Periodicals tab right selected. Arrow, and now we're going to tab. List view. Not selected. Zero, one net. One of 250. There's a lot of oh, periodicals. these are all the periodicals. Yes. Selected. Seven Jaws, AARP Magazine, Adweek, AFL so slash AFL. That is very cool. That That's is very cool. That's very cool. So I'm going to shift tab. Periodicals tabs, view button. Periodicals tab selected. And you got to be careful. So we're going to now press the left arrow key and we're going to go back to search. Browse tab, search tab selected. This is well thought out. Yeah, this is nice. So we're going to tab. Search term edit. H. Make sure we're in search terms. Blank. And I'm going to type in my search. H. 
E. R. Y. Space P. O. T. T. R. Enter. Titles list view. Harry Potter or Azkaban Kakiti J.K. Rowling. Dr. Suthier Dixit. One of 100. And there's 100 books. <laughs> Something to do with Harry Potter. How Psychotherapy. The Invitation. Jerry Potter. Harry Potter. Why La Pedra. Harry Potter. Why Elmas. Not selected. Harry Potter. Why Lark. Harry Potter. Why El Call. Page down. Not selected. Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. Harry Potter. Number 3. Jules K. Rowling. 11 of 100. Jules K. Rowling. That's not correct. That's, That's not cool. right. Her name isn't Jules. It's not. So it must be a synthesizer translation issue. It's JK. <laughs> so I'm going to tab. Yeah. Right. Exactly. But she goes by JK for the... Yeah, um... but she goes by Joe when you're actually talking to her. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Description read only edit. And I just tabbed off of the list. For 12 long years, the dread fortress of Escobon held an infamous prisoner named Sirius Black, convicted of killing 13 people with a single curse. He was said to be the heir apparent to the Dark Lord. Voldemort. So we're going to tap. Next button. And there's next. If you haven't read the book, we won't spoil it for you. Exactly. So let's go back to the list. Description reader. Titles list view. Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. Harry Potter number three. Jules K. Rowling. So I'm going to press enter. Enter. Download file dialog. Name read only edit. Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. Harry Potter number three. Loaded Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, 446 pages, 30 headings, 2 links, Q read Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, Q read Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, panel, panel, edit read only. So it literally downloaded the book, did what it needed to do to the book, and loaded it in Q read. So you pressed enter how many times there? Once just to once. Just download or, okay. Yep, just once. I hit enter one time when I was on the title in the list, and it took care of everything else. It just worked. It's a beautiful, beautiful experience for downloading Bookshare books. That's really the advantage of a textbook. I know a lot of people are really kind of text phobic. They really don't like text to speech voices, but there are advantages like being able to download. For instance, if we had picked Order of the Phoenix, to download it in 2.2 seconds versus five minutes. Exactly. So you have to read it in your text to speech of choice and Hermione Granger. <laughs> That's, we should see how this chick pronounces her name. <laughs> see if Zoe can pronounce it right. Blank. J.K. Rowling. Let's do a search. Control F. Control F. Find text dialog. H E R M. Found. Read only edit. Edit read only. Blank. Hermione Secret 386. Ha! She pronounces it right. <laughs> she does. But when I first read the Harry Potter books. Did you read with eloquence? No, I didn't. I read with Keynote Gold. Welcome to Keynote Gold speech. <laughs> that explains a lot, doesn't it? When I read it with Keynote Gold, I was told it was Hermione. And it read kind of like this, so all the dramatic scenes were terrible because it read like this. Exactly. But <laughs> I read the first book, and then it was funny because I read the first book on the Keynote Companion, and I then went home and bought like the first four audiobooks at the time or three audiobooks or something like that. Whatever was available at the time, Jim Dale on CD, I bought them and I was a happy camper because I'm one of these Texas speech people. I prefer reading that kind of book using human narration, obviously. If the Texas speech is pronouncing the name incorrectly, then I want someone who's going to pronounce the name correctly. So I went. The problem went, is a lot of the people who read it just in general with their nice hardcovers or paperbacks also did not know how to pronounce Hermione correctly. That's so true. There's that piece of it as well. That's, a lot of people probably called her Hermione for a very long time, or Hermione. That's very, very true. You know, so, so there's that. So my question is, who is your favorite Harry Potter narrator? You can flip a coin for me between Stephen Fry and Jim Dale. It's Stephen Fry for me all the way. It remains Stephen Fry for me. Once I heard the Stephen Fry versions, I was gone. I love Jim Dale. Don't get me wrong. Totally. But when it comes to these, it's Stephen Fry all the way. And we can't leave out someone like Eric Sandvold, who did a tremendous job for NLS. Really very nice. Not British at all, but really very nice. That's how I read them first. Yeah, so this was a very nice user experience to download your Bookshare books. If you're somebody who is just really not into the technical aspect of things, you don't care about a smartphone, you would rather just sit at your computer and read your book. Here is a way to do it. We will link to the QRead app. You can download a trial. We don't remember how long the trial is for. You can download a trial, and then it's 30 bucks, and it's a one-time purchase, and you will have it, and you can read like this for all your books. And if you want to hook a Braille display up to your computer and read that way, you can.
The other thing, too, is if you have a really, really nice text-to-speech voice that you want to use, QRead also has the option to not use your screen reader voice, but start and stop reading with a text-to-speech voice that's installed on your computer. Show them that menu because that's a really cool thing, actually. I'm glad you mentioned it. One of the advantages to that is you could read and you can be doing other things on your computer. If you're someone, unlike me, who can read and do other things, then this might be an option for you as well. So I'm going to hit the Alt key. Menu bar. Document. Now I'm going to go to the right. Navigation. Speech. So there's speech. Window. There's window. Help. And there's help. So let's go back to speech. Window. Speech. Now we're going to down arrow. Menu. Speech menu. Start speaking control plus S. Stop so control speaking S. control plus shift plus S. Control shift S to stop speaking. Speech options dot dot dot. And here's your speech options. This is where you would set your voice and the rate of speech. Again, not the screen reader voice, but its own voice that it gets from your computer. So let's take a look at this real quick. Enter. Leaving menus. Panel. Panel. Edit read only. Speech options dialog. Rate volume. Voice combo box. Microsoft David Desktop English United States. One of 27. Wow, I oh. don't think you want him necessarily reading this. Yeah, you may not. So. At DTNV 1.4 Crystal 16. Two of 27. Probably not her either for that matter. At DTNV <laughs> 1.4 Mike 16. Three of 27. At DTNV 1.4 Rich 16. Four of 27. Kept These are Chris's own voices, of so don't get excited. Exactly. These are voices. It's only showing what's installed on your computer. So you may have a couple of different voices and not 27. But let's try this. C. Capstrel Bell. Six of 27. C. Capstrel Collie. C. Capstrel William. Of Nine of two. For Sarah Proc. Seer Voice Jess English England. There's one. Oh, Seer that could be Catherine. Cool. Let's use her. Seer Voice Jess English oh, we England. Can use, we can use her. They're a great company. We just want you to hear because she's a British voice and she's really awesome. So let's tab and see what else we have. Rate left right slider. 50%. So there's your 50%, there's your rate. Volume left, right slider, 100%. So you can even change the volume of the text-to-speech voice. Test voice button. We can press enter on test voice. Enter. This is a sample of your speech settings. So that's what she sounds like. OK button. So press enter on OK. Enter. Read only edit. Edit read only. And we're going to press... hang on. Before you start playing it, let's get out of the table of contents. So That's, a That's a good point. That's a good point. Page down. Blank. Well, Wait, you can't secretary. hit H to go to heading? You should be able to. You probably can. H. Chapter 3. The Night Buff. Oh. Heading level 2. Yeah, you're right. As long as the book has headings yes. and things like that, you can use familiar commands such as H, Shift H, T for table if there are any, and things like that. So let's press Control S to start speaking. Control JK S. Rowling. Notice. This accessible media has been made. So we found something we can't make work. We're a little bummed about it, actually. The speech, for whatever reason, we don't know what this is, what's causing it. We've been playing with it for 20 minutes, trying to figure it out. The speech is always beginning from the top of the document, no matter where Chris goes in the book. Right. It doesn't really make sense. So if you want to use the self-voicing speech option, you want to use the self-voicing speech option. If you want to use the screen reader, you would use your screen reader to read the book. It doesn't look like it's synchronizing those two positions, which I thought that it would. I thought that it would, too. I don't understand why it's not, but you can play them a little bit of Jess. I mean, she's good. This accessible media has been made available to people with bona fide disabilities that affect reading. This notice tells you about restrictions on the use of this accessible media. And I pressed well, She's control. awesome. Yes, and I pressed control shift s to stop speech. So that part's unfortunate. Maybe there's a workaround we don't know about. Because if you have really good voices, you sometimes want to actually use them. It's also a really good way for anybody interested in improving your Braille literacy skills. So let's say you have a Braille display hooked up to your computer, right? You can use the self-voicing thing and the Braille display and read that way. In that case, you would use the voice of your screen reader because your screen reader technically controls the Braille display. Just another note about QRead. It appears that the only thing you can import from is Bookshare. Right. So By that's... importing, we mean searching for books and downloading them that way. You can open text files on your computer. You can open Word files. You can open PDF files on your computer, and you can read those any way you see fit. But you want to make sure that if you're searching for books on Bookshare, you use the Import from Bookshare option. Absolutely. 
So from books to other ways of entertaining yourself, we want to provide you with a couple of really cool demos. If you're stuck at home and you are bored out of your mind, or you just have some extra time and you want to binge some shows, but let's say your cable box is difficult to use, or you don't have cable, or you just really want some new ways to find interesting shows, we're going to help you with that today. We're going to show you a couple of services. We're not going to show you everything about them, but we're going to show you a couple of services and show you how you can use them for entertainment. For the most part, you will need a smartphone to access these services. The first one I'm going to show you is my favorite, or maybe I won't show you that first. Maybe I'll show you a different one first. I'm going to show you a couple services where you can access free movies and TV shows. It's amazing how far this has come in terms of both accessibility and just availability in the last couple of years. The first service I'm going to show you, and I'm using iOS for this demonstration, is a service called Tubi. This is a service where you can watch free movies and documentaries. Open Tubi. Tubi. Crime bullet horror. One middle dot eight. I have no idea where it's put me. This is one of the weird things about... Crime bullet horror. One middle dot eight. Drama where bullet horror bullet you. crime. Three middle dot eight. So that's what it's reading me on the first line on the top of the screen. Let's go down to the bottom. Selected. Home. Tab. One of three. Because I can show you the tabs. We have home. Explore. Tab. Two of three. Explore. Account. Tab. Three of three. And account. One note about account is you don't actually need an account. You may be able to do more with an account, but you don't even need one. You can just download the app and get started. So the home tab is kind of a smorgasbord of information. Drama bullet horror bullet crime. Three middle dot, the Iceman button. There's something called the Iceman, and these are some options that you can double tap on and watch. 31 button, recommended. Arrow right button, possibly right arrow. I don't know for sure. I think that will show us more in one of these categories. Broke and famous. So there's something you could watch. American meth. American meth. Grizzly man. The Columbine massacre in the killer's mind. These are documentaries. I recently watched a documentary on here, so I think they're actually recommending me other documentaries. Wonderland. Aileen, Life and Death of a Serial Killer. The Brandon Tina Story. Documentary. Arrow right. Button. Possibly. 13 times evil. Alcatraz Prison Escape. Death. Homeless in Los Angeles. Killer Legends. DR. G. Inside the Kaylee Anthony Case. Anna Nicole Smith. Behind Closed Doors. So there's a whole bunch of stuff here, and I can just keep going and going and going. But let's go to the Explorer tab, because it's a little more interesting. Explore tab, two of... So I just double-tapped it, and let's see what we've got. Find movies, TV shows, and more. Search field. Double-tap to edit. Swipe now up or is... down to select a custom action, then double-tap to activate. Actually very interesting, because if I would have known there was a search there, I would have searched. Somehow, either this is just brand new here, or I missed it totally when I was searching for a documentary on here on Sunday. Because I went through a ton of documentaries before I found the one I wanted. Find movies, TV shows. So there is a search box, and it's right there at the top of the explore. Continue tab. watching. This is continue watching. Amy. Action. Anime. Award winners and nominees. Baby First TV. So these are your categories. Black Cinema. Bollywood Dreams. C-O-N TV. Classics, Comedy, Complex Networks, Crime TV, Cult Classics, Documentary, Dokirama, Doc Useries, Dove Channel, Drama, Faith, Family Movies, Featured. So there's a whole bunch, but let's go to something safe. Family Movies. Double tap. Back button. We have a back button here. Family Movies. Heading. There's a heading. The Ash Lad in the Hall of the Mountain King. Fred, the movie. The Adventures of Tintin. Sea Level. Fred 3, Camp Fred. Yours, mine and ours. Fred 2, Night of the Living Fred. Dino King. A Turtle's Tale, Sammy's Adventures. Let's check this out. I like turtles. <laughs> so we'll check this out, and I'm going to just double tap this. A, tur a Turtle's Tale, Sammy's Adventures, 2011, middle dot 1H25 minutes, animation, kids and family, PG. A Turtle's Tale, Sammy's Adventures, 2011, middle dot 1H25 minutes, animation, kids and family, presented by PG. So it gives me some information here. Family Movies, back button. If I move left, I've got a back button. Family Movies, A Turtle's Tale, Sammy's Adventures. There's that information again. My Stuff, Share. So I can share it. Play Large Normal, button. 
Possibly. There's play. My play button. Watch trailer button. I can watch the trailer. Add to queue normal button. Possibly. Add to queue normal. Share normal button. Possibly share. So I can add to queue or I can share. Sammy the sea turtle and his friend, Ray, swim around the world enduring the challenges of the oceans in search of Shelly, the love of Sammy's life. So there we go. That's what this is about. Directed by, starring, Ben Stassen, Anthony Anderson, Ed Begley Jr., Pat Carroll, Tim Curry, Stacy Keach, Yuri Lowenthal. And there is your cast list. You may also like. Then we have you may also like. Sea Level, Norma the North, Alpha and Omega 5, Family Big, Sean the Sheep Movie, A Stork's Journey. So we got more of this. All Dogs Go to Heaven, Ted, The Lost Explorer. Cast button. Then we have a cast button. Home, tab, one of three. And then after cast, we we're back to the tabs. Let me show you how this works. Sammy, the Before you do and that, let's just talk a second about what casting is. Yes, let's. So casting gives you the ability to kind of throw the TV show to possibly something with a bigger screen or better sounding audio. And it's kind of like Apple's AirPlay, but it's in the Google realm of ecosystem. So... Because Kim has a Chromecast on her network, for example, maybe connected to a 70-inch TV or whatever. Ah, not hardly. Well, some people may have a 70-inch TV connected to the Chromecast. So you can basically play that movie through the TV that you have your Chromecast connected to. But if you don't have one of these devices on your network, you will not see this button. Actually, though, let me show you something about cast because sometimes when you see cast, 11 p.m. it will also show you airplay options. So family let's movies. See what this does. Back button. Because I don't think I have my Chromecast connected right now, so I don't know why it's showing me cast. Let's Home. see. Tap cast button. Double tap. Cast two. Close X button. Possibly close. There's my close button. Airplay and Bluetooth devices. So I can airplay it. Kim's Fire TV. Fire TV. There's my Fire TV. Living room. Roku. There's my Roku. Living room. Roku. And those are my options. So it's not even for your Chromecast. So you were No, correct. it's to cast, it's period. To cast anywhere. Kim's Fire anywhere. TV. Yep. Airplay and close X button. So possibly yeah, close family how movies. That works. Back button. So let's play. We can start playing the movie, I suppose. A turtle. A tur- and my play large normal button. We do Possib- it by pressing this button. Land. Home button to the right. Playback. 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 Now I've double tapped with two fingers and I now can show you this screen. Playback. We have playback. If I double tap it, you have to move very fast or it'll close. So let me double tap. Back. Button. Cast. Button. Closed captions. Volume. Play- playback. Ooh. See what I mean? It closed. <laughs> you have to be very fast. But if you touch on the screen in the right places, you can Back. get to. Play. Button. Rewind 15. Fast forward 15. Prog playback. Yeah. There's a progress bar there too, but it's really hard to get to. You can use two fingers to begin playback, or you can go in there and you can. There is the movie beginning to play. It doesn't sound very kid friendly, does it? It sounds a little scary. (laughs) I don't know what that is. Probably supposed to sound like the ocean. There's a ton of stuff, as you can tell, available in this app that you can check out. So there's a lot of goodies. So you have the ability to find something of interest to you either by searching or by browsing, and you can find a lot of cool information and options. And there are hundreds, possibly thousands of items in here. And this is Tubi, T-U-B-I. One thing to note about Tubi and the next service Kim's going to demonstrate. There are no audio descriptions. So if you're looking no. for services with audio descriptions, these are not them. They're not. You need to go to something. Oh, Excuse me while I go to my home screen. Like Netflix, Hulu, etc. You're not going to find that in these. I want to show you one more free one that is available, and it's my favorite of all the free services. So I'm going to go into my app switcher. App switcher. One to note about this active. one. It Swipe works up with three fingers. extremely well on both iOS and Android. It's a very, very Beautifully. pleasant experience. Tubi does both. too, actually. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Tubi does too. So you've got options here. Pluto TV. Active. 
So this is Pluto TV. I'm just going to open it. Pluto TV. Regions of South America. You can find a colorful Pluto TV settings dimensions. button. There are 372 species. Pluto of TV parrot, animals image. Red lorikeet, to a Volume on Amazon button. Parrot. Closed captions is on. Open options. Enter full screen button. Baby animals and friends. Watch this movie from start button. Add to the watch list button. About this channel button. Minimize video player button. Progress of current episode 426%. Favorites. Now, I want to tell you what I just did. I double tapped with two fingers on the screen. And We're while it trouble did, playing this title. While it did stop my title, Hello. it began playing the movie we were just playing on TV. So what I need it to may do not be pretty. Progress of current at minimize video player. To get in here. Button. About this channel. Add to the watch list. Watch this movie from stop. Baby and Emirates. Enter full screen. Button. Is it Landscape. Volume on. Closed. Exit full screen. Baby animals and next channel. Button. Pluto TV animals. In remove channel from favorites. Button. Baby animals and friends. CH 143. Previous channel. Button. Watch this movie from start. Button. Add to the watch list. About this channel. Progress of current episode. 10 a.m. 11 a.m. 11 a.m. So it's showing me trying to dig a hole in the show. Baby and baby and remove back button. Amazing. Baby animals and friends. Beautiful me folder. Three. I ended up going out of the app because I couldn't find a way to stop. I thought there was a stop when you went into full screen. What would have happened if you would have hit the audio on button? Volume. The volume, volume button. On. Let's find yeah. out. I don't know. App switcher. See. Pluto TV. I think Active. I've tried that Pluto before. Nature okay, scape. Pluto, Pluto TV. Screen. Settings. Large. Button. No, it didn't. So. Cerebral cortex of the volume on. Close. Volume on. Button. Mute volume. There you go. I think I remember this from our class, our cord cutting class that we recently completed. In the Android version, I had to do the same thing to talk over the audio that was playing because as was demonstrated you can't stop it for very long it's basically a live channel Stream. all of these are live channels yes let me show you the tabs that'll give you a better idea of what's here select selected live tv they don't say their tabs vertical scroll bar 77 are, selected live tv so there's live tv on demand and on demand on demand so you can watch on demand shows but this is the live tv tab that i'm in currently so let's go back up here about this channel baby animals and friends that's the show that's on this is a channel that's in my favorites so i'm going to show you more about how this works in a second watch this movie from start button now we've seen these things while it was playing i can watch from the beginning add to the watch list Button. I have a little trouble with this sometimes, adding to the watch list. Sometimes it seems to add either a complete show or several episodes. I don't know. I'm not sure and confident enough about this one to explain to you how this is supposed to work. You would think it's pretty self-explanatory. The first time I did it, it was a show I really wanted to come back to, and I never found it in my watch list. The second time I did it, I think it showed me different episodes of the same show. I'm not really sure. <laughs> so I don't really have enough information to share with you about how this part works. About this channel button. Now this part's cool. Let's go in here. Open channel details screen. Back arrow button. So there's your back button. Pluto TV animals. That's the channel. In favorites button. Heading. It tells me it's in favorites. Now playing. Heading. This is what's playing. Animal science. And animal science is what's currently playing. Now, you may have noticed that when I was in there a minute ago, it said baby animals and friends was what was playing. But when I actually go in here, this is the more accurate way to find out what is currently playing. TVG. It tells you it's rated G. 2 p.m. to 30 p.m. It tells you how long it lasts. In this episode, we'll examine some of the animal kingdom's fastest sprinters, like the cheetah. Also, the mysteries of animal intelligence are revealed as we take a look at dolphins and orangutans. This is cool stuff, guys. There are hundreds of channels here, and I'll give you an idea in a minute, but there's a lot you can enjoy. Watch list button. So there's watch list. Watch from start button. Watch from start. Progress, 69%. There's progress. Next. Now, from here. Animal science. There's another episode of animal science. TVG. 
2.30 p.m. 3 p.m. From 2.30 to 3. In this episode, we'll feature animals that live in the freezing Arctic. Learn how the polar bear has developed special adaptations that help it survive in the most unforgiving climate imaginable. And that's the description of that. Watch now, button. I can watch it now if I want. Watch list, button. There's the watch list button again. In favorites, button. Heading. It tells me this channel is in my favorites. Now playing, heading. And I think what he did was it actually just swooped me around to in favorites now playing. So to make sure I've seen everything, I'm going to go to the bottom. In this at 2.30 p.m., 3 p.m., 10 a.m., 11 a.m., better than progress, others. 0% progress, 10 a.m., baby animals and friends. Yeah, and in this case, that didn't really help me because I think it's showing me something totally different here. Maximize video player button. So I can maximize the player. Vertical scroll bar, cool, 982, listen to, 2.18 p.m. Oh, yeah, somehow I've ended up in the channels list, so I don't really know what I did there. So, TFW, let's go back, back arrow, up to top back screen. arrow button. Let's go back. Settings. Now, at the top of the screen itself, when you're watching a channel, when you just load it and your last channel begins playing, because that's what happens, the last channel you played begins to play, you've got these options on your screen. Settings button. You have settings. Pluto TV animals image. And then it tells you the name of your channel that you have currently playing. Mute volume button. It tells me the volume is muted. Thanks, Chris. Closed captions is on. Open options button. No matter what I do, it says closed captions is on, so I have no idea. <laughs> it certainly isn't reading it with voiceover if they actually are on. Enter full screen button. There's the full screen button we saw earlier. Baby animals and friends. And it still says baby animals and friends is on, but again, that's not accurate. Watch this movie from start button. And I'm just moving to the right. Now, what I could do, what should potentially work but doesn't is... Media description headings. If I go to headings... Favorites heading. Oh, it's going to work today. Awesome. I can go down and I can see my favorites. That's the first heading on the page. A lot of times I can't get that to work. So favorites, if I move to the right now. Slow TV, 597, all aboard, cab ride Norway, 2.23 p.m., 6.30 p.m. I can see options that are in my favorites. Pluto TV biography, 567, Bruce Springsteen, on the road, 2.23 p.m., 2.45 p.m. So these are some of my favorites. Selected. Pluto TV Animals, 143, Animal Science, 2.23 p.m., 2.30 p.m. And it tells me that this one's selected. That's the one I'm currently watching. And notice it gives the channel number as well. Naturescape, 582, Stairs, Guadalupe, 2.23 p.m., 2.30 p.m. So I can see all my favorites. If I move down by heading again. Featured, heading. We have featured channels. Vertical scroll bar, 77 Except pages. Except it really selected. Live TV doesn't show you the featured channels. I don't know if this is a weird voiceover issue or what this is. So let me show you how we actually find the other categories. Vertical scroll bar. I'm going to cool. go 980 up by heading. Music heading. And notice now, because I swiped around a little bit, we have the category. So there's music, and now it's not letting me go up by headings again. So this can be a little weird. So what I want to do is just... Flick around Baby the animals and what add a min profit. I'm just gonna move life plus stop very kids quickly here. Life. Okay, binge watch news now. and a movie featured favorites progress of current episode 441 percent. There's where it says progress of current episode. You may remember that from a little earlier when we were talking about trying to get it to stop, <laughs> and I showed you this part while it was playing. If I move right from here, favorites, there's favorites. If I double tap. It'll show me all my favorites, or I can find that heading on the page. If I move to the right, it's going to show me other categories. Featured. Movies. Entertainment. News. Binge watch. Comedy. Sports. Explore. Life plus style. Tech plus geek. Kids. Latino. Music. Favorites. Heading. And then there's the favorites heading. So let's go back to... Kids. Tech plus. Life plus style. Explore. Explore, because it's kind of cool. Let's go Explore. Tap. And now I'm just going to tap kind of in the middle of the screen. Pluto TV Cars, 561, Cop Car Workshop, 2.25 p.m., 2.45 p.m. So that's what's on that channel. Explore, heading. And there's the Explore heading if I flick left from that. So I was pretty close to where I wanted to be. So these are channels in the Explore category. Pluto TV Cars, Pluto TV History, 565, Guy Martin, Industrial Wonders, 2.25 p.m., 3 p.m. 
So let's say I wanted to watch this. I would double tap it. Selected. Pluto TV history. 565. Selected. Pluto TV history. And now I should be watching it. Now, if I go kind of to the top of the screen. Pluto TV history. Image. Mute volume. Button. It tells me my volume is muted. I can unmute. Volume on. You've got to say that is a cut above the rest. <laughs> You've used that before, Brian. You've used that before, haven't you? And it's <laughs> it's not bad, is it? And it's been mute. Mute volume. So there's my show. It's playing. Closed captions is on. Enter full screen. But Guy Martin, Industrial Wonders. So this is the show. Watch this movie from start. But add to the watch list. About this channel. Button. There again is about this channel. Minimize video player. Button. I can minimize the player. Progress of current episode, 45%. And there's the progress of the current episode. If you want to learn about the episode that's playing, you go into the About the Channel, and it'll tell you, as we saw earlier. Favorites. Now, featured. the other thing you can do if you go into About the Channel is you can favorite this. So let's say I wanted to favorite it. I would go into About the Channel. Let me show you. What guy mark watch add to the watch list about this channel. There button. it is. Open channel details screen. Back arrow. Pluto TV history. There's the add to link. favorites button. And there's the add to favorites button. So I can add it to my favorites. Notice that the other channel that we were in had in favorites, I believe is what it said. So I could add this to my favorites. And if I move right from here. Now playing. Heading. Guy Martin. Me, Industrial Wonders. This show. 2 p.m. 3 p.m. The time. Guy's project this week is one of the more surprising legacies of the Victorian period. The public park. Guy is helping with vital renovation work at one of the most significant Victorian parks still open today, Birmingham Botanical Gardens. So this is pretty cool. So let's say I want to add this to my favorites. I'm going to go... Watch, watch now. In 1924, 4 p.m. 4th, a side of Hitler that only his in Pluto TV history. Not quite in the right spot. Button. Add to favorites. Button. Heading. In favorites. Heading. And it changes to in favorites. So I can back out of here. Back, back, back arrow. Button. Back at cellular. Two of four bars, Pluto TV biography, five. And now I tapped on the screen and it's showing me biography. It's showing me my favorites here. Selected. Pluto TV history. Five. And it tells me that Pluto TV history is what I'm currently watching. Let me show you one more thing in here. We're going to go to. Pluto go TV to conspiracy. Selected. Live TV. That's another one in Explore. Pluto TV conspiracy. On demand. So if you're into conspiracy theories. Opened on demand section. Settings. Button. I went to the bottom of the screen, and there's an on-demand section, as we saw earlier. James Bond 007. These are all the things you can watch on demand. Most popular movies. And they're categorized. Top TV series. So let's go in here. Top, Top TV, TV series. series. That we can watch on demand. Whiskey Tango Foxtrot. What Lies Beneath. Boulderham. An Education. August Osage Cat. The Ninth Gate. Hudson Hawk. Bandits. Shaft. The Ring. Shaft. Layer keg. All the King's Men. Carnage. View all. Recently added series. And see, if you go past, you see other categories. Alone. Comedy in color. American Pickers. The selection. So Ice Road Truckers. Stories with Kev. Deals from the dark side. Kevin Hart. Lift Le the ramp game. Billy the Exterminator. And I'm not letting all these read, but it gives you an idea. There are, oh, I don't know, a ton of shows and channels and things you can watch. There's stuff for the kids. There's stuff for the grown-ups. There's some relatively non-G-rated items on here, so just be aware. There's not porn or anything like that, but there's definitely some non-G-rated things. So you just want to be aware. And there is a lot you can check out. And as you can see, for the most part, this is a gorgeous experience. TF really, Shield. Really. New movie. New to movie. Top TV series. Out. Most popular movie. Sometimes this part can be a little hard even when you're We own the night. Touch. Cellular. Let me see Two if I can The ramp game. Nope. So you do have to find a back. James Bond 00 set setting. Settings. Button. Oh, I'm not going back. I can't scrub here because I'm not going back. I'm just in the tab. So there is no back. Selected. To go to. On demand. When I went into the recent movies, what did I go into there? Recent TV shows. It probably just seemed to anchor me to that portion of the screen as opposed to taking me into something. So I can't go back because I wasn't actually in anything. I think it just zoomed me to that portion of the screen. Live TV. So I can go back to live TV. Now Open I want to live TV thing. section. Settings. Button. I'm back to live TV. If I leave the app. Beautiful me fold. And go back into it through my app, app switcher. switcher. Pluto TV. Active. Pluto TV. 
settings button. Do you hear anything? No. Because Nintendo TV muted. history. Image. Mute volume button. Because I'm muted. Sometimes volume on. As the construction team, I've hit a bit of a snag. The restoration. Beautiful me folder. So I went back out of the app. That will stop it from playing. And I had to unmute. So if you haven't completely killed it from your app switcher, which I had not, you'll still be muted the next time you go in. So that's just something important to note. We were going to show you another one. It's a paid service, and it's a paid service that has a lot of channels for a very small price tag. However, upon opening it on iOS today, we discovered that the accessibility is way less than it was two weeks ago. And we don't know if that's an Apple thing, very highly possible, or a service thing, also possible. We don't know. Sometimes when an iOS version is updated, things go very wrong. We don't know if this is one of those situations. I suspect it may be. Because it's doing some weird things that normally don't happen when it's just the app itself. So I suspect that could be an issue. We can't show it to you today on iOS because there's not a lot to show right now. But it's an example of how when you update your version of iOS, sometimes things happen that aren't necessarily good things that you want. So unfortunately, we can't show you this on iOS. We may show it to you later on another episode at some point. We'll try again, or we'll show you on a different platform just as an idea. But you can learn about a whole lot of services like the ones that we showed you today in our 12-hour, yes, you heard right, cord cutting course that is now available. What we did was we took the one we taught in 2018 and the one we just taught a couple months ago, or what, last month? March? And March yeah, March slash April. So. Yeah, so it's not as long ago as I would think. But we took them, we put them together, and we added a few things to make it more full course-like. And put them together and gave you a hugely comprehensive cord cutting primer, as it were, from an accessibility standpoint. We're very proud of it. We're very proud of how it turned out. So one thing that we did in the early part of the year in January of 2020 for anybody who purchased the 2018 product, they were sent a coupon to get X amount of dollars off on the, the class. 2020 right version of the class. And a good majority... This was a live class. Yeah. Right. And a good majority of people did take advantage of that option. There were a few people that did not, but... That coupon has long since expired. I think it ran for eight weeks or so. It ran well into the live portion of the class. And like anything yes. that we do that's a live paid class, it ultimately turns into a product. Unless it's really bad, but we haven't had that experience yet. So Right. So we turn it into a product and we give the full product to anybody that has purchased. The class. Right. So in this case, people who purchased the live class and previously purchased the 2018 version got a discount and they got the full 12 hour class. So they were able to participate live twice if they chose to and they were able to get the whole 12 hour conglomeration if you will. If you did not purchase the class during that upgrade window and have no desire to, that's fine. You can go into your account and re-download the 2018 version of the class. However, if you do want to purchase it, you'll need to pay full price for that or wait until our next sale and then you'll get a discount on that. I mean, we gave everybody, like you said, a month or more easily of time to get the discount on the new stuff. So if you bought the first one but not the second one, you'll be paying the full price for both. And to be fair about it, the new stuff is longer than the old stuff. So you're getting at least seven probably hours of material. I mean, it was ridiculous. One class was two hours and 17 minutes. You're getting a lot. One thing that we did too, just so that we get the whole 12 hour duration taken care of, Back in January of 2020, we did a free audio description class. And while I was daisying this product, I called Kim and I said, okay, I'm going to shoot myself for even asking this question. I said, what do you think of putting the audio description class into the new and improved cord cutting product? And, and of course I said, absolutely, that makes sense. <laughs> And I hung up on her. <laughs> so what we did was, is we put that class into this class. Because for those that didn't download it or didn't go to it live, again, it's in our free downloads 
So you can go download it whenever you want, even if you didn't purchase the class. But it's a nice, convenient way for those that want it, and it's already in the product. And one of the cool things that happened during this class, and it's a surprise, or you can go read the description for the class in our free downloads. We had a surprise guest. We did, and it was amazingly cool. It was very cool. Yes. Very cool. So that was a lot of fun. That free class in its entirety, I did not edit anything out. So it actually, it's funny because in the 12 hour class, it talks about our announcement of our upcoming class in 2020. So rest assured that if you bought the product, that's the class that it's referring oh, how fun. to. You mean in the audio description class? Yes, in the audio description oh, class. Funny. Yes. So oh, if you're. Funny. If you're listening to that, it says, you know, stay tuned for our announcement that we have. And at the end, we talk about the cord cutting product that's to be held in March or whenever it was. So it's just kind of funny that I felt it was better to leave it in there. It was kind of cool. It's a lot of really good material. We've kept it priced as affordably as we could. We think you'll get a lot out of it. Right now, a lot of people are thinking about, gosh, I'm home. I'm paying $150 a month for my cable bill. This is ridiculous. Can I do other things? The answer is a resounding yes. And you can do other things that are accessible. Particularly the 2020 version of this class, we had such a fun time putting it together. And it turned into this huge behemoth, even more so than usual for us, which is saying something. We were just able to show a lot of stuff. So if you look at the table of contents, which is in the product description, you'll get an idea as to just what is there and what we show. So if you're interested, definitely feel free to pick that up. And if you have any questions, obviously let us know. Or, of course, you can order via phone five days a week, 9 to 5 Eastern Time at 716-543-3323. And if you aren't into downloading stuff, we can send it to you on an SD card, data disk, thumb drive, etc. Thank you, everybody, for coming with us on our journey of QRead and our journey of some of these free cord cutting apps like for example let's say Pluto TV if you know that all of the stuff that you want to play with or watch is on Pluto TV that's the beauty of it you don't have to buy anything else you don't need Netflix you don't need Hulu you don't need all these other paid services if Pluto TV is good for you then that's very very cool so just enjoy watching your TV reading your books doing whatever you're doing to stay safe Thank you, everybody. Insane. Insane. So <laughs> thank you, everybody, and have a good one, and we shall talk to you in a couple of weeks. Bye. Bye. The preceding podcast is a presentation of Mystic Access, where the magic is in learning. If you are blind or visually impaired and desire to discover how our comprehensive products and services may support and empower your assistive technology journey, we welcome your visit at www.mysticaccess.com. Have a question or wish to place an order via phone? Call us at 716-543-3323. If you have something to share about this podcast episode, press 4 to reach our Mystic Access podcast comment line. Email us at info at mysticaccess.com. Connect with us on Twitter at twitter.com slash mysticaccess and like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash mysticaccessempower. Would you like to spread the word about our podcasts? Your friends and colleagues may listen and subscribe at www.mysticaccesspodcast.com. If you enjoy our episodes, consider leaving us an iTunes rating and review. Your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks for spreading the word, and thanks for being a listener. We hope you enjoyed this episode.